What's up guys, it's Hugh here with the first episode of Real Talk. Okay, so I've been talking about this for like a week now on Instagram. I started a podcast, so yeah. Let's get into it. Uh, before I get my new camera, I decided I might as well do something till then because I hate filming with this, so yeah. I have a splitting headache, so my lighting thing, my uh, ring light thing isn't up all the way my hair's a mess good way to start off the first podcast anyway um so basically today i have a big topic and then i have questions and some like stories to base off those questions kind of gonna go in depth unlike i did in the q a because i don't i didn't have two hours well i don't have two hours now but still so what i'm thinking so i have had literally like 50 something people I, I didn't count but like a lot of people how to grow as a small fishing creator so as you can see i don't exactly make the best content like quality wise when it comes to videos my pictures I'm, i think i have decent pictures on instagram and stuff but what i'm saying is like so um say my um videos you compare it to uh, like, let's start with this. So you compare my video to some something like John B. Makes or something like that. Just one of the big people I like. Um, it's or Tactical Bassin. So John B. is more of like, let's just use as, him as an example. He's more of like a tutorial or like an entertainment kind of thing. Like entertainment as in it's not as much like comedy or he does what the fans want him to do. You know, that's the kind of stuff they do, like the bigger guys, which works. But what do you do to get that big? You know, so what I'm going to be discussing is basically that, like, how do you get to that point to where you're able to do the content that people want you to do, but also don't do what they do. They are successful, but you want to be original. All those top fishing YouTubers, they're in a big group, but they all do the same thing. So it's okay. Because they're all like buddies and they make videos together and all that. But if you're just a small fishing YouTuber and say it's okay to collab with people still. But unless you are doing something that. So I don't really know how to explain this. But basically just be original is all I'm saying. You have to think of things that no one else does. So right now I am thinking about. So right now my videos kind of suck. I'm just saying that like being honest. But I'm going to try to put some humor in it. Because I like humor. I like making jokes. I like making people laugh. If you don't know me personally. So I um, that's one of the things that I really like. So I'm going to do something that I enjoy with my videos. Nobody really does that. Except for Marling Bates. Which is pretty cool. But he also does bait making. And then I also do tutorial slash like just fishing. So it, it's just different. So I don't exactly do what people tell me to do you know i'll take suggestions and i'll think about it but that's different if 20 people tell me to do something it doesn't mean i'm going to do it you know so don't do that kind of stuff don't do that and so you get bigger you know you want to do what makes you happy you can't be making content if it's not what you want to be doing and then another thing is right now okay so a lot of people were just saying like i'm talking about content in general so like i'm kind of going back and forth between youtube and instagram and all that so let's just say so instagram for instance right now they're doing this thing where you can't get your post out there you know they want you to use like their ad they okay so they basically have this thing where ads like you can put advertisements up and people will see your post. It's called promote your post. You can do that. But it costs money. And nobody's, not many people are doing that. So what they're doing. They're changing their algorithm. It, it's so dumb. But like they're doing it for the money. They're changing their algorithm. So that you have to use those ads to get views. So now if you say. Let's see. Um, For an example. My posts were, were reaching about. 3k accounts right whenever i just started like my content creating or whatever 
which was about two months ago. Yeah. And I'm at 2K now, so that's a lot. But I got to 2K in two weeks. So it just shows how much that thing changed. It just, right now, it's going to be so much harder to grow. Just start with that. So one thing is you need to do those ads. I'm not doing them just because I don't like that kind of stuff, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. I might eventually, but I'm not going to waste my money right now. So one thing you should do that I'm not doing is do those ads. Once Instagram gives you, once you start doing what Instagram wants you to, they'll start doing what you want them to do. Okay, you know, I'm going to fix my lighting higher up because it kind of hurts my eyes. Well, it hurts my eyes, but like, it's kind of dark, so. Um, yeah, just like, I don't know, you need to, you need to do what they want you to do because if you don't, they're going to keep this crap going for God knows how long. And they're not going to stop. So, um, another thing with YouTube, yeah, you need to be original, you need to, um, let's see what else is there. Make sure you're making quality stuff. One thing I'm doing wrong on my Instagram, I'm growing decently fast, comp well, until this whole crap started with, excuse my language, <laughs> without, before this stuff started with Instagram, my, I was growing pretty quick, alright, I was gaining, like, 50 followers a day at that was like a bad day so it was crazy i was doing good you know and what i did is i was kind of just doing so i was experimenting with what works you need to experiment try new things so on your post uh use hashtags you need to um make sure it's good quality like i was just saying i'm so <laughs> I have horrible adhd so i'm gonna keep branching off to different things Go back to what I was saying. Um, you need to, what's it called? Like, content needs to be quality. You need to edit your pictures if necessary. I only do that a few times if it's needed. But you need to make sure that it's quality. If you, wait, I see it. If I just was scrolling through my Explore page, sorry, uh, excuse me. I was scrolling through my Explore page and I saw my post. Would I click on it? Would I follow them? Honestly, I would consider it with me. I'm not saying I would, but I would consider it just because I think I make decent Instagram posts. And with my YouTube, same thing. I would not subscribe to me. I'm being honest. I wouldn't. Now, I think my content is good. My quality is not. Quality is a huge thing, whether it be your thumbnails or just overall quality, like your audio. Right now, I am not using my mic like I should be. Because it won't connect to my camera. Like the wire's not working. It's a wired one. And yeah, it's just, it's being dumb. So, that's one thing. Quality is a big thing. You think it really isn't. But if you've watched, let's say John B. Because in my opinion, he has the best videography. Out of the top fishing YouTubers. He like, his quality is crazy. You're editing. You need to take time on it. Make sure people are going to want to watch it. That's why I'm taking a break. I'm not going to waste my time and effort because it takes a lot of time for my videos because I work hard on them. It's just I don't have the camera quality. So I'm not going to waste that time and effort just to know, like, just for that, you know? So, yeah, I'm just, I can't do that. So, well, I can, but I'm not going to. And I'm sorry, but I'm doing this to keep something going so I can have at least something going. And then another thing with Instagram, um, you, when you do, so, odds are you do, oh, sorry, I'm, like, really sick right now, and I have a splitting headache, I'll have to throw up, but I needed to do this, because it was my only free day, but you need to, like, um, whenever you do, so, say you do hashtags, which I'm expecting you to, not only do that, tag big brands, which is kind of becoming... Sorry, I'm getting notifications. I'm using my phone to record it. That's why my quality sucks. It's a good phone. I have the XR, which is good quality, but it's not whenever you have a lot of videos and you edit it and all that. That's why I'm saying my camera sucks once you go through with editing and all that. So I will be using, I will be posting GoPro videos till then, but nothing like with an actual camera or anything until probably December. 
But, um, yeah, I'm... Yeah, so hashtags tag big companies, but not too big. So here's what I do. So say um, you tag Guggen Squad or something like that, Guggen Bates, because they're the biggest there is. But every small creator that does this is tagging them. I'll tag them just because why not? I look five minutes later. You can't even see the post that they because what they do is they look through posts that they were tagged in. You go to see that they're you go and look through the posts they were tagged in. Mine's 20th on the list after a few minutes. So many people tag companies that big. There's no point in doing it. So I recommend people with 100K or less, 150K or less. That's just me because they get enough tags that they're, they get enough followers that people are going to look through and they'll see your, your post for a few days, right? That's my thinking of it. Or even people with like 30K or 10k even 2k i do it with people that have less followers than me because what you want to do is every time someone looks they want to see your posts another thing follow and unfollow big pages you know sorry my family's being loud and i was just kind of like listening anyway um shut up <laughs> Sorry, I mean, but dang it, what was I gonna say? Oh my goodness. You Oh yeah, I know I, I I definitely forgot. I'll just go on to something else, hopefully I remember. Whenever you tag not tag, uh whenever you do hashtags, you need to oh, no. dear gosh. I'm going to cut this out. Whenever you're doing hashtags, you need to, um, like, say you're doing a giant list of hashtags. Instagram's stopping that, too. They're also stopping follow for follow. They're going to, you're going to get reported for it. So don't do that. They're, they've always not liked it, but they're getting more strict on it now, you know? So then don't, you don't need to be doing follow for follow. Not a good tactic. You're going to get reported. You might even get banned. I'm not kidding. And then I'm shadow banned right now. And I don't know why. Like, I, I just, I, I swear, man. Come on, dog. Whatever. It's just something like it happened. People report you. Like, I got reported. I don't even know why. I used to do follow for follow. I stopped. Let's see. How many weeks ago was it? I don't know. I stopped a few weeks ago, though, just because I figured out, wow, they're actually reporting people for this, you know? So I was just like, I, I can't do that, you know, like, not trying to get reported. And then, I really forgot, yeah, I'm shadow banned now because of that. I don't get more than, like, 2% of my views, or, like, 2% of people that are recommended recommended towards my videos don't see it or only see only two percent of the people that would get recommended towards my post on instagram will see it only two percent of my followers two percent see my post isn't that crazy like i i used to get 300 likes 350 400 likes in all my posts which really isn't that much but i think it's a lot because i'm just not getting started now I get 150 at max. I posted last night. Normally, I'd have 200 by now. I have, I think, yeah, I have one, like 110 likes or something like that. It's okay. I mean, it. It's just it's gonna be harder to grow, and you too. So I'm just saying, if things are hard right now, don't expect it to get better anytime soon. Use those advertisement programs if you can. Use it. Take advantage of that. They have it for a reason, and they're making things low so you can use it. So what I'm thinking, if they're making things lower so you use it, they're probably going to make it better if you use it, you know? So why not use it? I'm not using it because I'm broke, and I don't care enough. Like, I like to be like, oh, I earned that on my own. That's that's cool. Not I paid robots to do it. Another thing, there's these new programs coming out where basically... 
you give them your password and username and it sounds sketchy but it's not like the point is don't do it so it's basically a uh these bots they they like get your password and stuff and they view five million stories towards the things that you're interested in of small creators like you and then it'll like comment and then there five million i say five thousand i don't know five million stories a day that's crazy dude and it's for free i'm pretty sure it's for free depends on where you get it, which ones you do anyway instagram started picking up on it and now they're banning people and reporting people for it because it's against the guidelines so is follow for follow don't do that and yeah let's see what else for YouTube, there's YouTube hashtags. Some of y'all didn't know that. Use them. I don't really use them that much because I didn't know this until recent. I didn't think about using it so recently. I've seen them and I'm like, nobody really uses it. No, nope. those don't make a big deal, right? But I don't think it's really the way it works, you know? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's, yeah, just use um, also, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. That's why I'm going to switch up. I'm going to do that a lot, just so y'all know. Um, whenever you, um, do hashtags, you need, to, hold on, I'm trying to think of something. Anyway, whenever you do hashtags, don't do them in that big bunch. So people do it a lot. I used to, I recently stopped on my last post. Instagram picks up on that. And they don't like that. They're like, oh, they're just trying to get views. It's going to make your chances even lower. Make it like in a, um, in an order. Like, and that didn't make sense. Your caption should be like, had a nice day of hashtag fishing on ha lake hashtag blah, 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 whatever lake it is. And caught my hashtag PV bass was a hashtag monster bass on a hashtag strike king lure. Stuff like that. It'll look freaking weird, dude. I'm not kidding. Put that under your real caption. Like, dot, 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 down, caption. If you know what I'm talking about, how the dots, most of y'all do. And and warn your, warn your followers, be like, in the caption, be like, I'm only doing this because whatever. Yeah. That's my reason. And I don't know. I'm not trying to make these too long because I don't want to make y'all sit here for an hour. So that was that big topic for today that I honestly, I could probably think of a few more things. I'll try, but I don't, I don't think I can. Oh, I just said the opposite of what I just said. Oh man. Let's see. Uh, one thing is there's going to be lots of trout fishing videos this winter. Not, no, not like, um, rainbow trout, speckled trout. I do a lot of that. I'm going to be taking wading trips. I normally fish out my boat. This year, I'm going to try to go wade for, like, 9-pound trout. Just try to catch my PB trout this winter at some point. And I recently went to uh, Lake Toledo Bend for the first time. And if y'all don't know, I live in Texas. So, I guess it's kind of known for big bass. Some of the lakes are pretty sick. Went to Toledo Bend. Never been there before. And, um, it, it, was, it was sick. So, we, it was me and my dad and my brother. We weren't catching anything. My dad caught a little dink, and then he caught, like, a two-pounder. We were there from seven to one because we had to head back in town because it's, like, three and a half hours away from where we live. So we fished. No, we fished till, like, almost three. Yeah. So we're fishing, throwing finesse baits, and then the water started warming up. So I was like, you know what? We need to throw swim baits, spinner baits, umbrella rigs. Not umbrella rigs. That would actually be good. But we didn't throw one, but um, just stuff like that. And so I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. And we started fishing these um, big, deep, uh, washed out where it used to be creeks. Now it's like a little channel and we don't have a GPS. So we kind of just like based it off of um, what we could see. And it was obvious that it was an old washed out creek it used to be a channel. So. We're just casting these spinner baits. No, we're casting swim baits. And my dad was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna throw on a spinner bait. Throws on this little shad pattern swimmer bait. Pumps it out there, lets it sink for like feet, five feet. Just cranking it in real slow. Boom. And he sets the hook. And then he just reels it straight down like this. And we're like, do you got a fish? He was like, I hope so. Literally, he said that. And then that thing just <laughs> jumps like two feet in the air. We're like, oh my gosh, it's huge. And I, get, I trip, grab the net, and he just slowly cranks it back in. I just net it. It was the most boring fight I've ever seen. But if it would have fought hard, the thing would have popped off. I netted it, and right before it went in the net, that hook just popped out of its mouth. It was hooked in, like, the skin right here, just the inside of its lip, just barely even. It was crazy. So, yeah, that was sick. Only caught one fish of the day. It was a great one. Ended up weighing, um, let's see, it was 7.25 pounds, yeah, no, 7.24, yeah. It was his PB, and, well, I guess that reminds me. I should probably answer a few questions, and I'll go more into depth with them just because I have some time. I'm probably going to make this, like, not even 45 minutes long. Like I said, I don't want you sitting here for an hour just because I'm not that interesting, and you're probably only here for the first part. So if you weren't, greatly appreciate it. I'm glad you find me kind of entertaining. And, uh, yeah, let's get to the questions. <clears throat> so I got my notebook right here, and I just wrote them down, because, yeah. Um, favorite, and I got these off of an Instagram poll thing, but favorite fish to catch? Um, redfish, 100%. And why? They fight so, they fight really hard, and they can be hard to catch sometimes. You gotta get them at the right, just, it really just depends. I don't know, they're just fun to catch. Like, if I lived on a lake, it would be bass, but I live the coast, so I barely bass fish. I bass fish every time I get the chance, but I'm mainly just saltwater fish, so redfish for sure. And sometimes trout, it just depends if they're big or not. Fall time, favorite fall time bass lure. <sighs> so I'm thinking. It can, so I answered this in the Q&A, but lately I've been getting more in depth on it and I've been doing some research and experimenting. And it depends, but Probably either spinnerbait or just spinnerbait. Okay, so I don't like spinnerbaits. You just crank them in, but they work if you're doing them at the right place and the right time. So to an extent, spinnerbait, but I don't really like them, but sometimes they can be really good. So, you know, they just... They're boring to fish with, but they work sometimes, so. Whenever they do work, too, I catch some nice fish on them. As you can see, my dad caught that on a spinnerbait. But probably either that or a Bass Reaper Bait Co. Um, actually, it's a River to Sea Sexy Shad Swim Bait. I rigged those on a Ned Rig, and I just cast them out there, crank them in, pop, 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 you know. How you work a swim bait. And, uh, yeah, just, boom, crush them on that all the time. And it's sick. I'm hoping they make a Ned bait, a Ned rig, like, length one, because that's a, such a sick kind of thing. Anyway, next question. PB bass. That's why I was going to go into depth on my PB bass during the podcast, like, not the podcast, during the, um, main section but i'm not big i what didn't because i knew that was a question and i get asked this so much my personal best bass is 8.4 pounds and i caught it on a spoon about that big with and it was kind of annoying because the guy we were with he was amazing this lake fort we were on lake fort 
this guy uh, offered to take us out and we went out on a trip me hunter and this guy and um his dad mike so it was sick we went out on a trip to lake fork and with this guide and it was cool i didn't even get a single thing we were fishing hunter and mike catching we were fishing drop shots on some drop offs they were catching it was middle it was like middle of summer almost i think it was june and uh he was they were fishing drop shots all three of them just slamming bass and it was for my friend's birthday so i was like you know what? it's cool it's awesome i love seeing him catch fish you know it was fun and they were all catching two three pounders which were sick because in that lake they fought so hard it was crazy and then um yeah so it, it was a cool experience and then we got close to leaving i think it was about noon and we, we decided we were gonna fish till noon and then we ended up deciding to fish the whole day because at about noon we got in a school of white bass and i was fishing with the left i real right-handed i cast like that like that sometimes i just cast with my right hand real with my right hand apparently it's annoying to cast with your right and then reel with your right i don't think little things in life should bother you especially something little like that i don't know i'm not everyone but apparently that's annoying and this guy was the same way and i get that everyone everyone's like that that's just how people are raised to fish so i was like all right it's cool i i get it i'm just a little bit uncomfortable i'm probably just going to be catching white bass anyways so i'm throwing this little spoon in a school of white bass and then i just feel thump and I don't even, I don't think I even set the hook. I just kind of started reeling. And then it just goes. And the, that was a horrible impression of the drag. But drag just starts screaming. And then it stopped. I just reeled in. It was a great fight. He had some good runs for a while. And then the guy was like, this is probably the fish of a lifetime right here. I think you got a giant on. And he was like, this is no white bass. And I was like, oh, man. But that left-handed was uncomfortable so i was more focused about reeling it in right than i was getting that fish and focusing on the fight so my opinion could have been cooler amazing experience though it was crazy the fish came up and it was about five feet of the boat away from the boat when it first like came up to the surface it didn't jump luckily but it jumped right before we got into the net and that was crazy i was screaming and I never scream. I don't I don't like being loud whenever I catch fish. I like kind of being like, oh, sick, man. You know, that fish was huge. Oh, my gosh. It was crazy. I held it out. I'll show you a picture right here. <clears throat> but, like, it was crazy. It was the biggest fish I ever caught. And, yeah, I don't. I don't know if that picture showed up or not. I'm trying a new editor and it's not really letting me do that, but I'm trying to figure it out. So if I didn't, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, if you did see it, but if you didn't go check it out on my Instagram page. But oh my goodness, dude, it, it looked so big compared to me. I had my whole hand out over it and I, I have kind of little hands. I mean, they're like almost the size of my head, but I don't think I have huge hands, but I don't have tiny tiny hands either so i just kind of like i was holding this fish and you can see like my hand barely covers where the freaking fin is it is just crazy experience so yeah that's the story of that bass amazing i felt bad because it was his birthday but he it i don't know just great experience next one do you think if you never went fishing you would be a youtuber and do youtube no, because, well, okay, if somehow I didn't do fishing, which I know I I wouldn't live without it, I, I would find out about it one way or another, and I would want to share that with others, I'd want to be a creator, but if, big if, I didn't ever fish, if I didn't learn how to fish, I wouldn't, honestly, I mean, I think I would, because, so I'm a big person in style, I like dressing nice, I like, um, I just, I enjoy style. Maybe I would have done a YouTube channel on that. Probably not, but yeah, I, I just, I like dressing nice and cute and all that. So that's one thing. And I guess that's the only thing I would have ever started it on. Or 
hunting, I would have started a hunting channel, but if I would have been hunting, I would have been fishing, so. Yeah, I don't know. I Probably not, honestly. But I couldn't imagine not fishing. That's something I want to pursue for the rest of my life. So yeah, that was all the questions. Um, comment down below anything you want to know about me. Like, literally anything. Any tips about fishing. Oh yeah, someone also was asking. Hold on, what was this one thing someone asked? I'm trying to think. Someone asked me something about... Um, about red fishing. It was my redfish rigs. Yeah, someone asked me what I use for redfish. So I use 30... Five pound uh, braid I use, and then for my reel I use a uh, thirteen concept I think, and a fish sticks six six. No. Uh, sorry, my brother walked in. For rod I use a uh, fish sticks six six. I don't know the model, but it's like pink rod. It, it's super great. My favorite rod. I use it for bass too. It's a great rod, all right? So that's my redfish rig. And then I always use the same lure. I know it's stupid, but when I'm fishing for redfish, I always use a chartreuse uh, medium size because there's like three sizes when it comes to storm swim baits. I use a chartreuse medium size storm swim bait. That's almost all I use, and except for top water. Whenever we see like a school or something, other than that though, I just use that chartreuse. And I catch trout, I slay trout, flounder, and redfish on that. That's all I need. You know, I don't need a huge tackle box worth. I've fished since I was little, and that's all. That's what I've caught most on. So why not continue using it? So yeah, um, I'm sorry if. You didn't like this podcast, but I'm going to keep doing them because I'm not going to continue YouTube videos for a while. And I'm sorry about that, but just the way it's working out. And I love y'all so much. Like, seriously, y'all have no idea how much this whole thing means to me. Like, I'm going to, oh, like, I don't know. I, I hope I grow big so I can be like, you know what? Because I, I know y'all, I know the people that are subscribed to me. I see y'all. I check y'all's profiles. Y'all Sick people, man. I follow y'all back. And I, on Instagram, I try to follow everyone back that I can. It's just, I love being in touch with y'all. I respond to all my messages. And because y'all mean so much to me. Like, it, I don't know. I literally don't even have, I, I don't, I haven't checked in a while. Like, I haven't checked in like a day or two. But I think I have like 150 subscribers, something like that. A little bit less, I think. Anyway just means so much i might be really small but like i appreciate the support because if you know me personally i don't like people at all so it's not really like me to get in front of a camera and not be able to freaking shut up you know sorry for my language i just yeah it means a lot to me and uh thank you for listening and i hope to bring better content to y'all so it means a lot and uh Episode one, I'm going to start doing these with guests on. I'm, I have a few people, and I have some cool episodes come to, coming up. So, yeah, uh, I'm excited for that. And just um, subscribe if you want, you know. And then I'm making thinking about making merch whenever I get more big. Like, not giant or anything, but like 1K. Probably going to make merch. So, yeah. If I ever get that big, I'd be so happy if I did. But anyway, probably will. So, um, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next episode. And, um, yeah, how was that first episode of Real Talk? So, yeah, yeah, hope you all enjoyed first episode of Real Talk. I hope it was cool. <sighs> yeah, just hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one.